Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. I just woke up. So today's probably going to be the last day of the every other day updates because uh, there's a lot to get done on the character and it's going to get really grindy on. Grindy, really grindy from here on out. Um, but let's just recap and cover some stuff that we found. So I've got fourth vow. I'm actually using fourth vow. I did a very massive swap that I'll talk about soon. I got shock avoidance on my uh, crucible shield. The reasoning for this is not needing Tempest Shield, so I can basically drop pure developments and go Skitterbot. Um, I finally got my Exposure Gloves. It took 200 plus Eldritch uh, Ickers kind of shit. Uh, I crafted a Righteous Fire Helmet, found the Righteous Fire Helmet, crafted a Righteous Fire Scepter, um, found an Immortal Flesh, uh, what else? And then uh, Fourth Vow. Right, so let's go ahead and talk about this because there's some crazy things that we've done. So first off, uh, I wanted to experiment with something. I am no longer a Jug. Um, character is still very much hardcore viable, right? Of course, the two deaths were my own fault from a while ago. Uh, no deaths on the Chieftain swap. So before I do anything and continue, the reasoning for Chieftain is this new body armor, Fourth Vow, is a great way to mitigate elemental damage. Not just uh, spell damage that's elemental, but like elemental attacks, for example, mobs deal bonus damage as fire, right? So fourth vow makes it so your armor applies to chaos. So basically, I don't have that much armor right now. I have like 36,000 buffed up. I can get a lot more later, but 36,000 armor buffed up. That means you get unbreakable, but 100% instead of 8%, right? You need to combo fourth vow with divine flesh. So I got a legion jewel as well. Uh, if you do not have Fourth Vow and Divine Flesh, I think Chieftain is not nearly as strong unless you pivot into a different defensive layer, right? Chieftain has crazy damage uh, and really good, um, like, recovery and very good physical mitigation, but Chieftain does not mitigate Elemental at all. So that's why to mitigate Elemental, you need to go block-based. I recommend Divine Fl uh, Flesh, Fourth Vow. You can try going Spell Suppression. There's a lot of different variants, but this is what I wanted to try out. And I'm really liking this. In Trade League, I took the Divine Flesh and I put it over here. I really like this new spot I'm putting it where it doesn't really cost nearly as many points and you don't have to look for a crazy one because all you're doing is re-rolling your baby nodes. So for example, I got like movement speed, block attack damage, useless mono regen, some fire res, uh, useless lightning damage, minion damage, um, spell damage, area of effect, cold res, maximum mana. So nothing really amazing. But it enables Divine Flesh. Um, so this synergy here is pretty huge in terms of uh, scaling your defensive layers. Now in terms of damage scaling that Chieftain offers, remember, this is not to be confused with my Explode Chieftain. This is a straight up RF Chieftain. You get Sallow Cleansing Water for Giga uh, Physical Mitigation and Fire Res. This actually means I can drop a res from my fire and basically use Harvest to convert it to Cold and Lightning because it's way overcapped. Um, Velako's Storm Embrace synergizes really well with Immortal Call for giving you big damage. Um, to be fair though, I am still missing some stuff. Like, I would like to use a Enduring Composure Small Jewel, which is whenever you get hit, you generate Endurance Charges every second for 4 seconds. Right now I'm using my Warcry to generate charges, and it will feel much better with Enduring Composure. Uh, Ramako's Sunlight gives you a chance to Ignite, which is good for Fire Trap. Fire Multi is just a strong stat. And the fire pen is okay for the initial hit of fire trap, not really worth mentioning. Cover and ash is fantastic because this applies to every monster you hit, whereas infernal cry is only to monsters you press the button on. And infernal cry is not giving you a full cover and ash; it scales off war cry power. So when there's only one monster, you're not getting as effective as a, a cover and ash. So two big things I want to do. Number one, I want to drop this bottom Ellie Mastery, and I want to go into a Born of Chaos Jewel, which is basically a small cluster for Chaos Res, and it gives three max Chaos. This is so that when I kill Maven and get my Legacy of Fury, I'll be able to drop my boots because they have so much Chaos Res on them right now. Second thing I would like to do is set up the Enduring Composure Small Jewel I was talking about uh, to generate more consistent charges. And third thing... I'm also using a cluster jewel setup now, and I also want to try out a new method of instead of rolling eight passive on my clusters, I want to try to roll 12 passive on a fire cluster 
reforge it with chaos and try to get like chaos res increased effect of uh, the baby notes and life because honestly the notables are not really that amazing and uh, there's no multipliers on here it's all just increases so why not try to get something really valuable like say chaos resistance anyway with that being said uh, i'll talk about my gear after a map so let's go run a map to show you guys kind of what it's like one of the downsides of Chieftain is I do feel a bit slower on my character, right? I did lose the beautiful um, Unbreakable node, so I'm definitely a bit slower, but my damage is significantly higher, and I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop a Crucible real fast. I've been doing still 80% Crucible. Actually, I don't know if I have anything. I'll just put it on my shield. Uh, I definitely can handle 100%. I just don't want an occasional death while I'm leveling. Um, for some reason, my game just shit itself. Oh, that's amazing. I wish they'd fix that lag mode. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, my. Maybe that's actually my internet this time. I think it is. I think it is indeed. We'll have to fix that. That's a yikers. Maybe, please, game. Please. All right, let's see if we can go successfully run a map without lagging. So right now, my RF tooltip is just shy of 600k. That's 600k with no awakened gems, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, Fire trap tooltip is currently 815k. Now this is with the three frenzy charges I'm currently getting uh, from my uh, from my frenzy ring. This is also with no 21 gems, so we're still rocking 2020s, haven't hit a single 21 gem, we are 97. Legacy of Fury will do wonders for this character's clear, since the damage is already pretty good. I think I'm just shy of 3 million boss damage, and I think that's without Scorch? Could be wrong. Maybe it was 3 million in the Scorch. I need to figure it out. I'm not going to do the Legion right now. It just takes a long time to go through all of it. Essentially, for Legion, uh, I just kind of prioritize killing all the rares. Anything that has rewards that look interesting to me. Um, and then when I'm actually doing the Legion 4-way, I typically book top right first because top right has the Vol person. And every 25 seconds after killing a Legion boss, you can reset the timer to respawn the bosses. And the primary focus would be farming Ball if you're trying to do um, uh, the uh, Glorious Vanity. I dropped the Glorious Vanity, but it was by Ahuna instead of Zabakwa. And I believe I had to spend four Divines to get it onto Zabakwa. So kind of unfortunate, but it enabled the Chieftain, so I'm very happy for that. Yep, just to show some defensive layers really fast, you can clearly see that we are still tanky. This is with one Endurance Charge right now, right? It's, it's possessed T16, so it's not too bad, right? There's definitely, it's definitely hitting hard at least, right? Nothing crazy. Okay, then to talk about some upgrades. So, you guys remember the old Scepter we had? Um, I found a Fractured Fire Multi Scepter. And I basically alt spammed it to get plus one fire. Uh, and then I regaled and I could multi mod to get like 30% increased damage. Uh, this right here. This could go as my third prefix. I just have to unlock multi mod. I don't have that yet. I don't know if I really like the scepter enough. It's barely an upgrade on my old scepter. So yeah, I'm just leaving that alone. And this has my flammability, life tap, frost blink. Now, my helmet, on the other hand, I really like my helmet. So the process of rolling the helmet is farm your Elder Guardians in T14 plus maps. So that would be these guys right here. Uh, furthermore, what I do is I actually chisel my map, alt roll it till a boss is possessed because possessed guardians or Elder Guardians, whatever they're called, drop a lot more loot, even if it's not a crazy rolled map. Uh, then go run that, hope you get an Elder Helm drop. If you get an Elder Helm drop, you come over to Harvest and you do Reforge Fire. It's only 50, 
I think it's on average maybe like 2,000 life force to get something usable. Um, it's pretty easy to farm harvest, so th this is really nice. It's a lot more of a breeze to farm than essence, and I can still essence a lot of my end game gear when I have fractured bases, but the helmet is something independent to that, right? So very happy with this outcome. Uh, this has my fire trap, combustion, trap and mine, life tap. Still using the exact same shield. Uh, I did exalt two max chaos res. I'm potentially thinking about switching this to a dawnbreaker. Um, I actually lose elemental mitigation if I switch to a dawnbreaker, but I gain physical mitigation on a dawnbreaker and I gain like 10,000 armor. So that's kind of cool. Uh, <clears throat> amulet. I think I showed you guys this amulet. I don't remember. It's very similar to my other amulet. It just has uh, like a T1 armor roll on essentially is, is the main appeal of it and a little bit of res. I think my rings are the exact same, so minimum frenzy ring, and this is just a, honestly, a ring that I probably could replace now that I think about it and try to get, like, better chaos res. That would actually work. I could probably drop that dex and get another chaos res roll, but we'll see. It's going to be a little hard to replace. Uh, my gloves, I did identify them, so they're pretty good. They have increased life regeneration rate, cold res, uh, decent armor, a nice life roll, and then I crafted plus one gems, and I stuck my determination malevolence in here. Uh, along with something different, I'm using Skitterbot and Unbound Ailments because I don't have the reservation to get Aspect of Spider, nor do I have Aspect of Spider. Um, I don't want to use Herald of Ash, nor can I. So something a little bit in between is running Unbound Ailments to uh, amp up the effects of your Skitterbot, essentially. Then in my boots, we've got Faster Attacks, Life Tap, Shield Charge, Enduring Cry. Now, the, the big thing as well with this character is I don't want to run Arrogance Vitality on my Chieftain, so I opted out to just use an Immortal Flesh, um, which synergizes pretty well with Chieftain's Fat Recovery bonus. I also have the 3% Unveil on Katarina, so when I pop, for example, my Quicksilver, and then I pop my Ruby, um, my, my regen is quite a bit higher here. And then because of Chieftain utilizing Immortal Call, uh, Immortal Call is a little bit different than um, Molten Shell because you take less damage rather than getting a buffer. So because you take less damage, you're actually taking less from all degens, which means when Immortal Call is active, your life regen from RF, you, basically your life regen spikes up because you're taking less damage from Righteous Fire, right? That's kind of how that works. It's pretty interesting, actually. I like it a lot. I was wondering why my Chieftain would have such crazy bursts of regeneration, and that's primarily why. Um, other than that, though, that's pretty much about it. We're going to be blasting on this character. I have a lot of goals to go through. I'm currently in the process of redoing my Atlas, of dropping Legion, and actually investing into Delirium. Uh, the reason why I am into Searing Exarch right now is I want to get a Dawnbringer Dawnbreaker? Yeah, Dawnbringer, Dawnbreaker, whatever, and kind of see, play around and see if I like Dawnbreaker a little bit more than my current setup. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all later. Thanks for watching.